Welcome back to day four of the 78 Firebird um, project. We, uh, it's the night before the show. It's actually already the day of the show. It's that late. But anyway, out here uh, we had church tonight and uh, we got home a little bit ago and uh, we're trying to get some things done. We got the back end of the car up in the air right now. The uh, directional wheels, actually the ones on the back was facing the wrong direction they look like they was spinning by so i went ahead and switched those but uh, we're going to get under this thing now and see if we can get that exhaust tied up uh, i'll get you guys in here in just a second so that way you can see how low the exhaust actually is it's just blowing the dirt off the road but anyway we'll see what we can do with it here and uh, see if we can get this thing battened up i think the goal tonight is to uh, get the exhaust tied up get the interior cleaned out um possibly change oil i don't know it's light real light Maybe not an oil change tonight. But anyway, the exhaust tied up in the interior, uh, cleaned up a little bit. It's definitely going to happen. So, see what we can do. i got to get you guys in here and see this. So, this is my tailpipe. I'm not sure what kind of garbage that they've done. But it goes right into the catalytic converter, right underneath of the floorboard. And it's straight pipe. Under the axle, under the over top of the emergency brake cable, and comes clear out to the end underneath of the gas tank. So what I've got going on here is I took the floor jack. I'm sorry for the my arm getting in view of the camera, but I took the floor jack and I kind of we jacked up the end of the tailpipe, and it's got one support right right there holding it up to the car. So I can get you in here a little bit better. But it uh, it's going up to the bottom of the car and it's a piece of rubber that's holding it. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm the only one in America that don't have a clothes hanger right handy or a piece of wire. So I'm going to take three heavy duty zip ties that I found and I'm going to zip tie it up. If it gets me through tomorrow, that's literally all I'm worried about. Because um, that's all got to be redone the right way. But in saying that... This is my first time under this car. And look what I have found. Let's see here. Can we can we get you to where you can see all of that? So we finally found the rot in this car. And it's all right here at the back. There's just nothing left. And the frame, let me see if I can get the light. So you can see this. Can you see the the frame? That's the rear end shackle. The frame is just non-existent. I mean, it's it's holding in there a little bit, but huh. yeah. So the back two feet of the car. It can't all be good. No, it can't all be good. And I mean, looking up through there, it's got floorboards. Floor pans are good. Everything else is good. All the brake lines new. It's got brand new brake hoses. All the way down through there. A new line across the axle. Lots and lots and lots of new stuff. But that just looks like Halloween all the way around right there. I mean, just scary. Definitely some Halloween. So anyways, we're going to get this uh, exhaust strapped up here. Um, like I said, if we can just get through tomorrow, I'll be happy. And literally, the car don't have to go... I'm not going to put two to three miles on the car the whole time because the show that we're going to, praise the Lord, it is just right up the street here. So um, that show's notorious for having a couple hundred cars. It's it's just a, a, a community fall festival that goes on every year. And uh, it, it's our big deal because it's our hometown, you know. But anyways, so if we can get through tomorrow, we can address the rest of this stuff, so... See what we can get tied up here. I mean, that seems fine, right? Three zip ties? That'd be enough. Hey! Hey! How's it going? Oh, you yeah. know. Just looking. Huh. Like I said, Halloween. Scary. <laughs> As you can see here on the rest of this car, it's just not bad. It's got one little hole. Right there on the front. I mean, it's little. Other than that, it's 
thing is in great shape. It's just that right back there. Tank don't look bad. Exhaust is... Uh, there's a little better view of that thing just right there underneath that rear end. But... Oh well, it is what it is. Just like the sticker on the back from old Dylan McCool. It's a road duration. So we're just going to work on it and drive it and enjoy it and definitely have to do something about that rear frame before we can do too much driving on it. But got one little dang scuff on it right here. You see a little quarter rot right there, just a little um, down on the bottom. It's a little bit, but not too, not too bad for an old Firebird. So we're going to get this wheel slapped back on it. I think we're going to go ahead and vacuum and do a little bit to the interior. And we're just going to go ahead and call it a night. The uh, oil change, since we're not driving it far, is going to be okay until uh, at a later date. Uh, we'll check the oil, make sure we've got oil in it. Um, where we did have that oil leak on the valve cover. So we'll get that addressed in the morning. And... Uh, or See what we got going on, and uh, so we'll get this wheel slapped back on here, get it back down on the ground, get the interior cleaned up. We got the uh, tire put back on. We decided to go ahead and pop the trunk on this thing, and I mean, it's just, it's full of goodies. Um, actually, I think that's the only thing that we put in there. That's the old original wires that came off of it when I first bought the car, but this tire, though, I mean, that's a good spirit, and I th no, no, no air. Did you finally find it? He's been looking like feverishly for quite a while for his paint thinner. I don't want to dry my brush yet. He got, he got Herbie spiffed. I mean, he's sitting there just glamoring, ready to go. So tomorrow he just drives out with this one. But I mean, look. Ooh, that's weird. It, you're going to be right over, feller. Sorry. The light even works in a deck lid. Look how pretty that collar is. Sorry, I'm just like, it's 2 in the morning. And I ain't kidding. It really is almost 2 in the morning. Uh, yeah, we got to have the... Do you realize we got to have them car, these cars there in like 7 hours from now? It's about you don't have to sleep. What sleep? I'd like to, but I, I don't, we don't have to. What sleep? Because you need to tell me something about it. I don't know what that is. Do you guys know what sleep is? Leave it down there in the comments if you know what sleep is. If a car it. guy that knows what sleep is, put it down there. Uh, okay. Pine needles. Guys, keep your ever-loving cars away from the stinking pine trees. I mean, just this everywhere. We have washed and washed and washed this car. And it's just like, keeps showing up. <sighs> so we're... I'm cleaning some of it out, you know, just... In hopes that one of these days it can all be gone. All the pine... We're just shoving it in some old sandwich foil. <sighs> I just... Can anybody tell me what this might be? My camera is just blurred. Look at that. Let's see. Can I do this way? There we go. Yeah, that's what you think it is. Uh, so we're... I don't know. Just... Well, basically, it's late. And we're just, you know, down to the pine needles. But we got a jack in here. We've got... A real nice hammer. I mean, that... That's a good hammer. That is a, it's a Trans Am or Firebird thing. I had a hammer that come with my Trans Am. Well, sometimes you old starter it. sticks and you just got to get in there and just get after it. Vice grips. Every vehicle needs a pair of somewhat functioning. I think they've even, they've even got a rust hole in them. That's all right. These ones are nice. That's the high delu deluxe mall. Wrenches. Some gum out, all in one. If we'd have just stuck that in there, Jake, I bet that would have fixed them valve springs right up. Yeah, buddy, it would. There's that. 
brake fluid. Somebody had your right idea if they didn't do it. I mean, there's a pair of ratty gloves underneath. I mean, we got all the good stuff in here. It's all in here. All right. Well, we'll take the old shop vacuolator and get that junk out of the corners and at least at least got to get the stuff out of the inside of the car <clears throat> the carpet shot center console lid not so great all the interior lights work it's just well we've been working out of it and it is full full of junk Oh, we're fixing to fix that right about now. Get the old shop back in here and see what we can do with this. All right, guys, so we got the interior all vacuumed out, cleaned up. I think that's just going to be just going to do it for tonight. We're going to we're going to slip in the house. We really haven't eaten. We're going to eat and go to bed. So, guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll get these things up to the show and show you around the show for a while. Thanks, guys. Good night.